Well, in all likelihood, you are looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from Montana. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overy, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Steve Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. Stipe Miocic, ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Proudly repping Killcliff FC and the Institute of Human Performance. Here is the welterweight contender, Gilbert Durino Burns. Realized a lot of success at 155 pounds before moving up, but certainly most would argue we have seen the best out of Gilbert Burns at 170 pounds. Well, he doesn't have to deal with the weight cut anymore. He was a big 55 pounder, maybe a little small at 170, but his skill set translates and it really does work in his division. He is a high level jujitsu guy. But it's his striking that has impressed me the most. The improvements he has made down in South Florida allow for him to not only compete with the best, but to earn victories most times he goes in there. You're absolutely right, mate. His UFC debut back in 2014, challenge for the title in 2021. A lot of fans believe he'll get back there. Gilbert Dorino Burns, ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Steve Miocic. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Gilbert Garino Burns. Herb Dean, third Herb man in the octagon Herb. tonight. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. They're on a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the field or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. That's good defense to get that guard up. Nice hook lands. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. That's a big hook. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, that one landed, yep. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Back to the body shots now, that one block. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. 
Beautiful technique on that straight punch. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as we start this play. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Big yeah. shots being landed on both sides here. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Steve Amich. He has to evade Stan's base. Flips the punch nicely there. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Clean left punch followed by the right. Burns' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, it takes a very good striker to be able to land going forward and moving backward. And as you see the numbers there, the counter striking. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. That shot blocked by Burns. Back and forth we go. Burns is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Miocic's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. As good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Oh! Beautiful spinning kick lands! He's hurt bad. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Stipe's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Oh, well done. just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. 
All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. throwing everything with fight ending intentions. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stipe Miocic. All right, so there he is, the Croatian-American Stipe Miocic, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, and a familiar sight to see him get his hand raised there in the octagon. I mean, he's a phenomenal fighter. Great boxing, great toughness. They talk about Cleveland tough. Stipe Miocic is the definition of Cleveland tough, and he gets the job done tonight.